Did you know that Saturn has a storm shaped like a hexagon? The sixth planet from the Sun and the most distant planet that can be seen with the naked eye was discovered by Galileo Galilei in 1610. At the time, he didn't know what he was seeing and wrote that Saturn has ears. Then, in 1655, a Dutch astronomer named Christian Huygens looked at Saturn with a better telescope and proposed that Saturn has a thin, flat ring. Twenty years later, Giovanni Cassini discovered gaps in between the rings. These gaps are free of any ring particles and to this day, it is called the Cassini Division. The rings are so bright because they are mostly made of chunks of ice and small amounts of carbonaceous dust. Some are as small as grains of sand and as big as a large house. They stretch out for more than 282,000 kilometers, almost a distance from the Earth to the Moon, but are surprisingly thin and are only less than a kilometer thick. The smaller moons that orbit within or near Saturn's rings are called shepherd moons and help maintain the shape and size of the rings. They keep the rings from flying into space or crashing into the planet. The moons push their weight and create waves in the ring particles. The planet has 62 known moons, and 53 of them has names. To name a few, Titan is Saturn's largest moon. Enceladus is covered by ice, making it one of the most reflective bodies in the solar system. Pandora looks like a potato, Hyperion looks like a sponge, and Mimas looks like a Death Star. Titan is the second largest moon in our solar system and is bigger than the planet Mercury. It is made up of 98% nitrogen and the rest is mostly methane, similar to the elements that made up Earth during its early formation. On Earth, methane is a gas but on Titan, it's cold enough to have methane at its liquid state. There are methane lakes and seas and within these seas are islands sticking above the waves. Saturn is tilted for about 27 degrees and has seasons similar to Earth. But these seasons last for almost 30 times longer because of how far away it is from the Sun. This tilt changes your viewing perspective of the rings. When the rings are tipped up or down to you, Saturn's rings become more visible and corresponds with the planet's summer and winter seasons. But when the rings are tipped away from you, the rings are harder to see, and it marks the planet's spring and fall. It orbits the Sun every 29.4 Earth years and also rotates on its axis very fast. A day on Saturn lasts for only 10 hours and 34 minutes. At its north pole, a giant hexagon-shaped hurricane was discovered in 1981 by the Voyager mission and was later revisited by the Cassini mission in 2006. During the Cassini mission, the hexagon changed its colors from mostly blue to more of a golden color. Scientists believe that this is because of the exposure to sunlight that creates a haze as the seasons change. We don't really know how long it's been there, but recent data from the Cassini spacecraft during its flyby mission shows that it reaches 100 kilometers down into Saturn's atmosphere its winds travel at different directions and speeds, reaching up to 320 km per hour, and that a number of small vortices spin clockwise, while the hexagon and the hurricane spin counterclockwise. Scientists believe that this may be the cause of the storm shape. The dark spot in the center of the vortex is believed to be the eye of the hurricane. This eye is 50 times larger than the average hurricane eye here on Earth. The atmospheric pressure on Saturn is over a hundred times greater than the Earth's and would crush any human-made spacecraft. There are four spacecrafts that have visited Saturn during a flyby mission. Pioneer flew 20,000 kilometers off the top of the planet's cloud layer, took pictures of the planet and a few of its moons, studied its rings, and measured Titan's temperature. Voyager 1 sent back images of the planet, rings, and moons, 
and discovered that Titan's atmosphere was impenetrable invisible wavelengths. Voyager 2 took more close-up images of the planet as well as changes in the rings. Several new moons were discovered, and the probe measured Saturn's density and temperature, reaching from negative 203 degrees Celsius to negative 130 degrees Celsius. Then, there's the cassini horrigan spacecraft that had a probe and an orbiter. The Huygens probe had a hard shell that protected its interior from high temperatures during its 2 hour and 27 minute descent through the atmosphere of Titan. It also found evidence of liquid water and geysers in Saturn's moon Enceladus. On April 12, 2017, the Cassini spacecraft captured these beautiful photos of Earth in between Saturn's rings, showing us just how small our planet is in comparison to our universe. From another planet, we are nothing more than a speck of light in the vast darkness of space we call our solar system. And this solar system is only but a small part of a galaxy housing 250 billion stars. And our galaxy is just one of a hundred billion galaxies in our known universe. I can only wonder how much smaller a planet looks from another galaxy. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.